What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Redline Mice. Thanks tuning back in. We got a beautiful black 10th, uh, no, 11th gen Civic, and there's no video out there on the ambient light, so guess what? Redline's gonna make that for you. And uh, we found the accessories, fuse. Good news, I'll show you guys in a bit, but let's do the door panels, showing you guys how to take the panel off real quick. It's just literally over here in the bottom, if you come close over here. So if you go right there in this edge with a very small pry tool which you can find on my website as well and get it with a big one and pry up and slowly go along the lines so you don't crack this piece in half like so comes off and then grab from both sides if you can yep there you go, you get it, and then you're gonna have uh, two two plugs there, are very tight, very less room to play with, so just push this clip right here and pull out on both sides, one clip on this side, pull these out, you should be good to go, and remove this one screw over here, and then we'll pry the door open. Um, we're gonna pry right in over here, a separate piece, but possibly. Yep, so pry it over here, pry the edges right there. And careful not to yank it, as you can see, you got a trunk switch right here, so you're gonna have a wire behind it that you gotta disconnect. that and then you got the door basically off you're good to go okay, so the door is taken off let's just i'm going to focus on that because we have to connect the main controller first but i was just teaching you how to take the door panel off but yeah so going to the main controller which is right here you just got to scan the qr code just download the app real quick and the accessories fuse is going to be right i'm going to show you guys real quick this is going to be very stiff if you're taking this off for the first time so just pry into that corner right there that should loosen up the spot and remember don't yank it because you got switch and a switch well plugs right there so move by one hand for you guys to show you guys not to be scared of it but careful not to yank it there you go so that comes off just like that just a bunch of clips holding it two plugs right there take those off and once those are off you'll have access to the fuse box right here in the bottom under the steering wheel and i'll show you which one's the accessory you want right this one right there so all the way to the right one row you're gonna go to the second row and move this up a little bit so you could see better See that? That's accessories right there. Take it out. It's the third one, right? One, two, three, third one. Kind of second row, counting from the right. One, two, three. That would be accessories, fuse, and you could hardwire anything like radar detectors, dash cam, uh, underglow, whatever you want to do. That you know, tap into it. And ground. I used. You can use ground over there too, I believe, but I didn't have the socket for it. But I used ground right over here, which is more closer. 10 millimeter. So that's ground right there, all right? And we plug that into the main controller. Right now we will connect the forward lights to, no, not the forward lights, sorry. We're gonna connect the forward lights to the sub controller so we can hide all that stuff in the center over there in the back behind this panel. Um, the forward lights will be all hidden over there. Um, so right now we're gonna work on splicing this. I'm gonna cut this and shave off the, 
the sides and connect the other connector like this for the subcontroller and connect another the, the ground over here as well so there's two two controls will be getting a power this one and a sub controller so i'm gonna do that now all right fam so we got done with the forward lights so this over here this panel all you have to do is pull it outwards and there's a there's like a latch there's like a bracket and a latch in there like a lock locking mechanism type of thing so you pull it to here so it kind of bends outwards and the lock thing comes out and you're good to go then you have plenty of space in there not really really compact in there so i pushed the footwell lights through there two of them for the passenger side and one for the passenger rear side so two wires going through here uh, as you can see the sub control is hidden over there uh the wiring over here is hidden underneath this one we still let it dangle for now because we're going to put two LED strips over here for the dash area. And then we will hide it in the back of the side and the back side to uh, prevent the wires from showing over here or dangling down here because you, you don't want any wires showing over here since you'll be using this all the time. Um, so you want to hide all this stuff over there. You could even zip tie it to something if you want. You could 3M tape it to something in the back side. Uh, I would say zip tied here in the corner would be perfect too with the rest of the wires right there. Just zip tied there, perfectly fine. Um, so the forward lights, they ran like that. One coming this way, just drop it down here. Then lift up this um, from here, side, bring it upward so you could actually put the forward light there. Underneath the seat, use glue or whatever to put it under the seat. On uh, the liner, and same thing on the other side, well hidden. Let me show you real quick. Show real quick on the passenger side. So one will be in the back side, one over here. So again, the wire running down here, hide it under there with a full well. So you would pry this down, grab from here and pry it down. So pry this piece down and you'll be able to put that one forward light through that vent over there. Uh, once this panel is down a little bit and then you can hide the wire through so it's not dangling anywhere This is a clean install guys and put the full light over there You can't even see it unless you bend it all the way down like looking at the phone like So you can't see it, but now you can this was there from before from foot kicks and stuff like that But yeah That's that Can't really see it. It's not in the way clean And next up what we're gonna be doing so the full lights done. That's pretty straightforward and simple fam um next step is going to be taking off this panel over here right there so you can put the led strip over here and we also have to take off this panel which should come off fairly easily because we're going to put the strip over here going from here and straight across all the way straight there but what needs to be done is this Piece right there this panel needs to come out right here use a pry tool push it into it it should come off all right to loosen up this panel just pry this piece right here pry over here and get the pry tool here as well to kind of open up a little bit and also you will hear a tab over here pop up so you see I'm not sure if it comes out fully but I don't need it to come out fully because I'm just gonna put a strip right over here and close it back close it back in push the tabs in and the wire is going to be hidden coming back from behind and connected over there so quick update fam you don't have to remove anything just use a pry tool uh, make a little space in there with a pry tool and put the strip in and the rest of it just goes in by itself Look at that, it's so OEM guys, look at this, this is so cool, it looks like OEM literally. And see, the rest of it just follows. And since this is straight, strip up to here, that's what I, I cut it a little bit, because it's up to here, it's straight. If I do it over there, then the rest will pop out, which we don't want, we want to keep it straight. But the rest of it, we're going to hide the wires into that panel go down that route you can see go under the steering wheel area and there's an extension in the 
in the packaging so we're going to connect the extension to the packaging and connect the extension over there so this way the light will reach and it'll be connected all right this is the driver's side so you got the black on black then you got the red with like the brown looking wire let me get a better view for you guys focus come on I'm trying to focus on this thing. There you go. So as you can see, black on black. And then the red with this brown looking wire right under that black one. All right, so for the back door, so it's a driver. This is a passenger in the rear. Uh, the black on black here in the switch. I couldn't find what the positive one was, so I ran the extra wire. The positive, I spliced them together and I put it, put them together. I'm gonna put electrical tape over it and ran it down the grommet over there, through the grommet, underneath this panel, and brought it across here through that and connected splices, spliced it with the rest of that sub controller and the main controller plug, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna do for the next other door as well in the front. I think the wiring should work for the rear for some reason it's not working so for that door i gotta run the wire along and around and about and connect to the same spot here as well all right just an update on the passenger side front right passenger side the wiring is same as the cord one black on black and the green with the red that worked the strip is right there looks oem perfect works all right it's done Looking sharp. Same thing for uh, the the backside. Ran the red wire all the way across to the other side. Peeled away to the fuse. Connected it. There's. Look at this. And now it's all hidden. Look at that. Sharp. That is looking sharp. Came out great. Feel free to grab it from the link in the description below. And that should do it. Yeah, you just set it off in the app. Uh, it got like, over way too many animations of this thing. So it's pretty dope. That's it. Peace out next time.